Hey everybody, happy Friday. I am so happy to be back in the office after a very busy and successful week. I was in Toronto all this past week, as you guys are likely aware if you were following me on Twitter. I attended the Haste and Hustle Generation Now event in Toronto. And throughout that day, I attended Gary V's pop-up for the launch of his limited edition Crushing It sneakers. So I entered a draw, it was really cool. Um, they were going to pull 125 names and those 125 people got the chance to buy a pair of the limited edition sneakers. And also, and most importantly, is go to a Q&A session that evening and have the opportunity to meet Gary and ask him a question. So. Of course, no brainer, I entered the draw. I won the sneakers, so fantastic, they are amazing. I hope to get them in my office here soon and get some office bling. But most importantly, I was able to meet Gary and ask him a few burning questions I had about our industry. He's obviously in the agency world. He is a publisher, they bought Pure Wow Media. So asked him the questions I, I had on my mind and he was super receptive, totally into it. He said, I know exactly where you're at. We bought Pure Wow and he had a little bit of feedback for me. So, so, so phenomenal. You know, the neat thing and why I love Gary, there's absolutely zero fluff. And you know what, he's been there, he's done it. And now he's talking about it. I love the fact that he just openly says, if you want to do big things, you need big action. And the third part, you know, those other two might show up in an individual, but this third one, caring about others, oh my goodness. When I was talking to him, he was just one-on-one -on -one with a listening skill that I envy. He wasn't sitting there going, okay, it's about time to get going. He was honestly, truly, looking me in the eyes. I could feel that he cared and it, it was just so neat. So the fact that he's been there, done that, put in the hard work, continues to put in the hard work, doesn't talk fluff, and the fact that he cares, so cool. And you know what, it's all those traits that make him such an inspiration. Very few times in the people that I follow, do you find that? I mean, I can think of a few other fantastic people off the top of my mind, but I, I just love Gary. So that Tuesday, this past Tuesday at the event, it was just an absolute highlight bucket list. Um, I recorded a 17 minute video and he did a bit of a chat at the end of the evening before he headed off and he was catching a flight to Vegas. So really, really, really cool. And I've always been driven to build, driven to do big things, driven to help our clients. I'm just so much, uh, uh, yeah, just so inspired. And I love the fact that he brings the care into it. I've always been big on caring for our clients and caring for my team. I mean, I try and treat others how I want to be treated. And it's so neat to see that in Gary. You don't have to stomp people into the ground. You don't have to act the big deal when you are the big deal. You can, you can be humble and still be successful. So what a role model. And you know, at that event, at the pop-up before the Haston Hustle Day event, I went there and it was such a young crowd. My goodness, I almost felt like a granny there. I know there was others in my age bracket, but such a young crowd and I made a great friend as well. And I mean, she's 18 and all this technology and social media and they have so many tools at their fingertips to start out with. I mean, when I started in business, my goodness, I didn't even have a cell phone. Then the Blackberry came and then the iPhone and I mean, now, honestly, what would I do without it? And social media, I mean, it's second nature, but these young individuals are starting out with these tools. So it was just so fantastic to see all these kids inspired. And you know what? In a room where Gary is the inspiration, they're hearing the right message. They're hearing, you gotta put the time in. You gotta do the work. Stay humble. Don't be fancy. Fantastic. Oh, I just 
love it. So inspired, so thankful that I took the time to go out and so thankful to Gary that he takes the time to continue to meet with people and spread his message. I mean, at this point in his life, he really doesn't need to do what he does. And you could tell that he cares to help people succeed. So anyways, long winded, um, explanation of that one day cherry on top for my week I was able to spend some time in Toronto visiting our agency clients and putting a face to the name and just building that relationship that one-on-one -on -one. I know we can pick up the phone we can email but there is nothing like doing a face-to-face -face and meeting your clients and just building that relationship so had the opportunity to run around Toronto and meet with a few of the clients ended up in some back alleys, ended up at some wrong locations. But you know what, that's par for the course when you are in a big city and trying to meet with a lot of agencies in a short period of time. So it was a fantastic day. I'm back in the office today, at Friday, and I am a little bit bittersweet. I have one of our team members, Alicia from AdOps, it is her last day today. She is going on maternity leave. She'll be back, or so she promises me. I'm confident. Um, she's going to go be mom, and she'll be back here in a year. But it, I am super bittersweet about that. So happy to be able to provide a workplace here where people can come, grow, learn, but also where I can support them and send them on their way to be mom and have a great position for them when they get back here. So super happy for her as she goes into the next phase of her life really sad for us here she's such a true team player such an amazing gal we're gonna miss her but we're gonna send her out in style and do a big celebration at the end of today so that's how i'm ending my week it's been a fantastic week and geez i'm going into the weekend very very happy with how everything went so just wanted to do a quick sign off on this lovely friday afternoon and i look forward to catching you guys next week talk to you later bye bye